Large ups to everybody inside and one thing you'll notice today is that it's a different kind of setup. Long story short, the computer that I use to put everything together is out of service. Let's just say it's going to be on the injury list for an, and out for a few weeks, kind of like some of the players already at Manchester United. So unfortunately, we will be kind of switching it up and making it as, well, it has to be simpler this way because I'm literally working off my laptop and uh, Cappy might come on with a little clip on the phone and, and have his say but it won't be the usual United Twins that you're, that you're used to for at least uh, maybe a couple, maybe three weeks we will see, we will see hopefully but the Burnley victory Manchester United winning 1-0 away from home snapping that three game losing streak and it was very important that we got the win at Turf Moor it wasn't a perfect performance by any means and a lot of contra contrasting, sorry, a lot of contrasting opinions on this game in general because when you look at it, of course, especially that first half, some may have said we got played off the park. Now Burnley, I understood that they are a good possession-based side. The thing that shot themselves in the foot today and probably has so far this season is the fact that they don't have a focal point up front, a finisher where they can carve teams open and, and put away chances. They hit the post for Amundi, but apart from that, I don't really remember a clear-cut opportunity for Burnley. As for Manchester United, I look at where we are right now. Injuries, style of play, just different stuff. And, and I understand that Maybe Eric and I looked at Saturday's game and said we're going to have to make the most and, and, and take advantage of, of Burnley's weaknesses. So you understood that they played a high line at times to try and uh, to get as high up the pitch as possible, create as much opportunities. But in behind, we had that lobbed through ball that was always on and that's where Bruno Fernandes' goal came from. An excellent ball from Johnny Evans as, as we crossed the line. Uh, we, we was in their half. He was just entering their half over the top with the left peg and Bruno with an excellent finish. And that ball was on for the entirety of that first half, I would say. But also transitional opportunities which I think we didn't do a good enough job of executing in the likes of Bruno, Marcus Rashford, Rasmus Hoyland, Hannibal Mesri can can also be added into that equation. There were some good parts but I think in transition where we had the you know the 4v1s, 3v1s, 2v1s we didn't take advantage of those chances to finish Burnley and finish the game overall. Attacking execution that is a massive issue that needs to be worked on We've got to have the ruthlessness to kill off games to finish your opponents and we got lucky let's be real there may have been a scenario especially at the end of the game where we were under the cost trying to defend that 1-0 lead it could have been a scenario where Burnley score a goal it's 1-1 instead of getting three points you've dropped two again and and that negativity that vicious cycle continues once more there are many many things to improve upon if you are Manchester United um, and there are a lot of Manchester United fans completely unhappy with the nature of that performance which is understandable very understandable but I kind of try to take a different approach to this game and say listen uh, we tried to exploit the weaknesses of Burnley even though the execution wasn't on point I'm happy with the victory I'm happy to be back uh, to winning ways we were actually working towards exploiting certain aspects of the game to try and get that victory now we did hold on towards the end we did just about hold on towards the end and of course you would like to see Manchester United being slightly more dominant against opposition of that nature but it's just not where we are right now unfortunately and I guess we will see what happens when injured players start coming back into the fray it was good to see Rafa Varane back in the team Sofian Amrabat made his debut today in a in a makeshift fullback position so exciting times possibly for Manchester United fans I know there are a lot there's a lot of skepticism as well so uh, yeah it's just a situation where we'll have to wait and see and and hope for the best Eric Ten Hag uh, there's a lot of questions people asking questions of him right now whether it's from the fan base whether it's from the media and uh, those questions will have to be answered eventually but but once again injuries and just many different scenarios have held us back to a certain extent 
and we will have to make those final judgments or ongoing judgments once we get a, a full strength squad or if we get a full strength squad. I know a few weeks ago we spoke about the strength and conditioning department and all of that stuff there. I believe the other day it was revealed we had an interim club doctor. So that whole department, medical department at Manchester United has been up and down, up and down and, and we need to find some continuity. It's clear that the preparations going into the season weren't at their optimum, which is the reason why. I mean, of course, bad luck can be mixed in, but it is the main reason why so many players are dropping like flies right now. And, and how do we get that under control? in this season when there are so many fixtures coming in the next few days and weeks months it's, it's gonna be a tough 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 scenario but cappy what do you think about the game well i'll tell you what see it's been so damn long since we've seen a manchester united victory that it's just good to get back to winning way no doubt about it uh, I liked a few elements of Hannibal Mejri's game. I thought him picking up the ball and carrying it forward, driving it forward with power was a positive. Bruno Fernandes, obviously, what a goal that was. What a ball by Man of the Match performance by Johnny Evans, by the way. I know a lot of Manchester United fans, including myself, were kind of sceptical of, of bringing him on long term and, and signing him. But he's going to have to come in, especially with the defensive shortages we have right now he's going to have to come in and provide some big performances and that's what we saw experience at the back helping everybody else elevate their game as well and just about everything that came his way he dealt with it shout out to Lindelof shout out to Delo just about even though he had some shaky moments as well you know what I mean shout out to everybody they put in a ship but next up against Crystal Palace now a double header I, I dislike these back to back games against the same team i think it happened against was it leeds maybe last season i don't know I, I dislike these kind of games but crystal palace is going to be tough in the carabao cup i did see uh comments from roy hoshton basically saying the squad is not as strong enough as he would have liked to tap the carabao cup but that doesn't mean it's going to be an easy game crystal palace uh, I know a lot of the fans are not as happy about their performance against Fulham, 0-0 draw. But Cups, they're always a 50-50 opportunity if you give it a go. And even especially with us, our, our team is not at full strength right now. So we're going to have to find a way to, to win the game. And then when it comes to the league, it's about maybe two wins from, from the last two. Because we're going to have to start putting together a run. It's tough. But you don't have time in the, in football, especially nowadays when games are just coming thick and fast. Boom, 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 boom. Day in, day out. You've got to start preparing and making the most out of the preparations that you do have. So hopefully we can get a couple of victories in the week and, and maybe three wins on the bounce. Maybe. But starting with the Carabao Cup, always the first you deal with that and then the second and everything that comes after you deal with at a later date ladies and gentlemen let's get some score predictions in the comments let's get some score predictions in the comments let me know what you thought about the burning game let me know what you think about the next two up and coming fixtures against crystal palace Woo. no word of a lie i had to dip i had to dip real quick the maddest sneeze of a lifetime. But yeah, score predictions for the next couple of games. Let me know what you thought about the Burnley fixture. As always, I know it's a different episode. A very, very different episode. Uh, CM, he, he's sorting out the computer as quick as possible. But right now it's out of action. So we got to kind of twist a few things around. Make it short and sweet. A shout out to everybody in the chat. All the 22s. Be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Share to your friends and frenemies. Until the next time. We'll see you lot sinner. Pit.